hey guys welcome back to my channel this video will be showing you guys how I do my highlight and contour so the concealer I am using is by amazing cosmetic thank you so much they sent this concealer out to me it is literally one of the best concealers I've used the consistency of it the coverage I love everything about this concealer so thank you so much and I will be applying that underneath my eyes chin forehead you guys know the drill and I'll be blending that out with my real technique sponge as you guys can tell I applied the concealer on the sides of my nose that just gives a natural nose contour besides you know putting those harsh lines on your nose it'll just contour it naturally so this is me getting my real technique sponge and I'm gonna blend it out I use the pointy side for my chin, my nose underneath my eyes, and the flat part of the sponge for my forehead. So to contour, I will be using this foundation stick by Black Opal. It is in Suede Mocha. Oh my gosh, you guys, their foundation sticks are amazing. This is me getting my Flawless Concealer Brush by e.l.f. and adding a nose contour, just lightly. And now I will be using my Sigma F40 Large Angle Contour Brush to blend all this out. So right here I am just taking my Real Technique sponge again just to take out any creases and getting ready to set my under eye. Just going to blend out a little bit more with the nose contour. So now I will be taking my lovely lovely airspin powder. I do not bake. Yeah, I hate baking. I feel like it creases so much under my eyes when I bake. But if I just set it with a sponge or a brush, it is fine. So baking is just not for me. and I don't like the way it looks afterwards. So I will just set it with a lot of powder and just press it in my concealer. And after I'm done setting my under eye, I just take the same powder, the same sponge and go around my mouth, my chin, my forehead, everywhere that I place that concealer. Um, you guys are probably like, what in the world? She doesn't bake under her eyes, but she likes to bake on her nose. Yes, you guys, I bake down the bridge of my nose and on my chin only. I really like the way it looks when I do that. When I bake under my eyes, it creases so bad and it just feels, I hate that tight feeling. Like, ugh, it bothers me. <laughs> but I am taking my MAC Studio Fix powder and setting my face while dusting away all that excess powder. guys do bake and you wonder why it's so like kind of ashy or give a white cast just go over with the face powder the same color as your skin your complexion and just go over with that while you're dusting off the baking powder so this is MAC blunt and this is what I am using to add to give some warmth to my face and before that it was a forever 21 bronzer this is my Sigma Pet Name Blush. I will be using that for a blush. And this is my Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. And this is my Sigma E35 Taper Highlighting Brush. So this highlight wasn't really doing justice. So as you guys can see later, I will be applying another highlight. Yes, another highlight. Moving on to the lips, I will be using the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Brooklyn Thorn. If you guys follow me on Snap or Instagram, you guys seen me in this color before. 
I just want to say, NYX, you did a great job on creating these liquid lipsticks. These are my favorite liquid lipsticks. They're not dry, they don't crack your lips, they're so pigmented and they last all day. And they're very affordable, so you guys should check it out. Also, I will be applying MAC Soft and Gentle on top of the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. I need my highlight to be popping. So I will be blending that out with the big, large, real technique blending brush. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like, feel free to comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.